This is groundbreaking news, and I think you missed it. In September, something big happened, probably way more importantly than all AI news, but it still didn't generate the fuss that I thought it would. Neuralink, ladies and gentlemen, has just reached a new milestone human clinical trials. While this burgeoning technology promises to provide much needed clinical solutions, Especially for patients with paralysis, there have been some eyebrow-raising incidents, which have, in turn, given rise to pressing safety and ethical concerns. On one hand, patients who've lost the use of their limbs could potentially enjoy more seamless and intuitive interactions with technology, leading to significantly enriched lives. On the other hand, there loom existential risks, such as side effects, danger, and even unsettling possibilities like mind control and manipulation. Love him or hate him, there's no denying that Elon Musk is arguably one of the most polarizing figures in the world today. He's a blithering genius and boasts a multitude of competencies. To some, he's a hero and an inspiration to many. To others, he's an absolute peeve. We'll not be talking about his cold memes or shenanigans on Twitter. Uh, I mean X today. But we'll be zeroing in on his serial entrepreneurship and sheer dedication to making an impact on the world. It's no longer news how he has revolutionized the automobile industry and space travel with Tesla and SpaceX. And now, with his Neuralink company, he has his sights set on revolutionizing the field of medical science. You gotta admit, the man's a genius. Although it often seems like the billionaire leaves a stronger impression as a polarizing online figure than as a brilliant and versatile innovator. Nonetheless, he has firmly cemented himself as a leading visionary, putting forward ideas like Hyperloop, a form of futuristic, high-speed, super-efficient transportation system capable of reaching mind-boggling speeds of up to 760 miles per hour. Sheesh! And of course, his ambitious plans of colonizing Mars by affordable space travel. And then there's Neuralink. Since 2016, Elon Musk's Neuralink has been dedicated mainly to the exploration and development of technology aimed at establishing a brain-computer interface, aka a BCI. This breakthrough technology promises to empower individuals with paralysis, enabling them to control a computer keyboard and cursor, and by extension, other computerized devices solely through brain activity. Here's a picture of what that looks like. Tweeting, sending messages to loved ones, Ones, posting status updates, and even streaming on Netflix, all with mere thoughts. It's technology's closest shot to telepathy, and it's sending shockwaves through the world of science. And if you haven't thought about telepathy already, I'm sorry, but you need to like this video. <laughs> During an exhibition, a journalist probed, can the Neuralink chip allow you to summon your Tesla telepathically? To which Elon replied assuringly in the affirmative. While this technology does not address all the challenges faced by individuals with paralysis or limb loss, it's definitely a significant step forward. Significant enough for the FDA to designate the Neuralink chip as a breakthrough device in July 2020. More recently, the company posted a tweet saying that it had obtained FDA clearance to begin trials on human patients. This is coming years after a series of clinical trials with animals. Neuralink, however, hasn't been without its fair share of criticism. The company has faced accusations of employing questionable research methods and experimental procedures that some have faulted for being reckless and overly ambitious. In the early part of 2022, a troubling incident came to light. A monkey had lost its failure during testing procedures that involved the implantation of a chip in its brain. Despite this unfortunate event, there has been some progress, as testing monkeys have been shown playing Pong, one of the very first video games, solely with its mind. A male Makaki monkey, Pager, was observed skillfully moving on-screen cursors in the game, all without the use of a traditional controller console. Investigations into the unfortunate passing of the monkey and allegations of Neuralink's inhumane treatment of its testing animals have uncovered some uncomfortable details regarding Musk's approach to the entire procedure. According to reports, current and former employees have lambasted the company's CEO's hasty, imprudent methods, as well as the high-pressure and demanding working conditions described as a pressure cooker environment. Many have also expressed the view that more testing animals have died than necessary. Pigs have had to be euthanized due to mistakes and hurriedly performed surgeries. On another occasion, ill-fitting chips implanted in the brains of pigs led to complications. Some employees have recounted several instances where Elon suggested they imagine bombs being strapped to their heads to motivate them to work faster. Investigations were initiated to examine animal welfare violation claims submitted by the United States Department of Agriculture against Neuralink. As of July 2023, however, 
The regulatory body declared that they did not find any animal welfare breaches following the reported incident in 2019. As evidence that Neuralink's mission isn't merely a flight of fancy, other tech companies are also coming up with quite impressive inventions of their own. Case in point, back in May, a monumental event unfolded. A true milestone in medical science. A team of Swiss scientists developed digital implants that helped a man who had been paralyzed for over a decade due to a motorbike accident to walk again. The implant served as a bridge between Oscom's brain and the disconnected neurological system linking to his waist and lower limbs. The mechanism behind it is simple but stunning. When Oscom desires to move, he simply thinks about moving. The implant picks up his thoughts as signals and electronically transmits them to a computer strapped to his back. The computer then decodes this information, enabling him to take steps in his intended direction. It's not a complete cure, as he still requires the aid of crutches and can only walk for a few hundred meters daily. However, he's recovered abilities he lost a little above a decade ago. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a real-life testament to the incredible wonders of technology. The Neuralink chip operates on a similar principle. It bypasses the damaged neurological pathway that courses through the spinal cord, forming a bridge between the brain and the disconnected limbs. The chip has the ability to capture brain signals and transmit them through tiny neural wires attached to the clip. These wires circumvent the damaged spinal cord and connect to the limbs. To achieve this, the Neuralink chip is inserted in the brain as well as the area below the damaged spinal cord. While mastering the intricacies of this mechanism might require some training, it offers the tantalizing prospect of regaining the ability to walk for individuals dealing with paralysis. Elon Musk's vision goes beyond the conventional brain-computer interface. He aims to use this technology to treat not only paralysis, but also blindness and even mental illness, thereby charting an unprecedented course in the history of medicine. Oh, and did I mention that he intends for the surgical implantation to be conducted by specially designed high-precision robots. Microchip technologies hold immense promise and are insanely versatile, with the potential to unlock superhuman abilities and revolutionize healthcare solutions. For instance, the military is actively exploring the use of implants as health indicators and monitoring devices for soldiers stationed at a distance from their medical professionals. Then there are dental, cochlear, and eye implants that correct deformities and enhance patients' interaction with the world around them, helping them overcome life challenges. Beyond their clinical applications, these implants have the capacity to enhance normal capabilities, lending individuals almost superhuman abilities. Think of it like a cyborg, a human computer synergy, like we've never experienced before. Sharing and accessing information at untold speeds and efficiency. Some tech experts embrace implant technologies for convenience and ease. I mean, why bother with keys to access your apartment when a simple swipe of your hand across a chip scanner suffices? If these human trials prove successful, the potential benefits are boundless. Imagine a world brimming with all these possibilities. We would be unstoppable. Let's talk about the elephant in the room for a moment, though. Should we have concerns? As potential, life-changing, and promising as this technology is, it's evident that the changes it'll bring along will be profound. As with most innovations, there are two camps in this discussion. One favors implants and contends that it can serve medical and even recreational and expressive functions. The other raises concerns and opposes the idea of transhumanism, which in simple terms involves enhancing human capabilities through technology and science. On the flip side, there are legitimate concerns about the abuse of technological power and a disregard for fundamental principles that have safeguarded human existence. What if our enthusiasm drives us to far. Here are some of the major issues posed by this kind of technology. Privacy. This is arguably the most significant challenge and ethical dilemma surrounding the use of a Neuralink chip. In an increasingly borderless world, preserving one's privacy is already enough of a struggle. Now, imagine a world where even your most private and intimate thoughts can be captured as texts. Yikes! Who will have access to our thoughts? Can we trust them? How about hackers? Accessibility. Will this technology further worsen societal divides, seeing that not everyone may have the means to afford implants, at least in the early stages? Will it further widen the gap between those who have access to advanced technologies and those who don't? And identity. As the line between human life and artificial intelligence continues to blur, it raises fundamental questions about our identity. At what point does a person cease being human? How much cybernetic integration is accepted? acceptable or safe. Johnny Depp's film Transcendence offers a thought-provoking glimpse into this unsettling territory. Then there's fear and social stigmatization. 
If someone you know had multiple enhancing implants and gained unusual abilities, how would you perceive them? How would you deal with discriminative feelings or fear of the unknown? How would society perceive individuals who use this technology? The list is endless, and you can be sure to stumble on more concerns than benefits. However, it is crucial to strike a healthy balance between optimistic curiosity and the necessary skepticism when discussing such groundbreaking developments with far-reaching implications. Now, the stage is yours. What are your thoughts on this matter? Are you in agreement with the FDA's decision to allow Neuralink to conduct human trials? Would you consider getting such an implant yourself? Are you more excited than concerned? Do you think the pros outweigh the cons? There are some pretty interesting times ahead awaiting us.